Hello and welcome to this week's Game Dev News. I'm Jason and today I've got six stories, well five stories and one update that I think you'll find interesting if you're into game development at all. The first one is related to something we were talking about on the Game Dev Show last week. We were talking about AI and art generation, code generation, and then got into 3D model generation and talked about how it was going to be a while. But then this week, Powell shared something in Discord where NVIDIA has got their nerf system that actually does exactly what we were saying probably would take a while to happen. You can take some images, put them in, and have it give you models. I thought this was really cool and pretty exciting. Although it's not brand new, it's pretty freaking new. And they also have item number two, a conference coming up that is free where you can learn a little bit more about this and a lot of other NVIDIA stuff. I thought this was pretty cool because it's free and it looks like it's all online and it overlaps with the game developer conference, which is also that same week, but in person. If you're not able to attend that in person, then maybe check out the NVIDIA one, or even if you are, check out the NVIDIA one and see what you can learn from it afterwards. Now on the topic of AI generation, there was also a really cool video using Midjourney to create 2D sprites to build out a game. I thought this was amazing. It was by Binary Lunar. Go subscribe, check out his channel, and check out the video. It's really cool what he was able to do creating everything with AI. If you're interested in kind of seeing that workflow, it was pretty quick, pretty simple, and I'm going to start playing with it myself. And by the way, if you know of any other cool AI stuff like this, please send me a link, share it. I want to know so I can get it out there in front of people. This one was really cool. I thought it was a perfect practical use of AI art in game development. The next thing on my list was sent in by Rob. Thank you, by the way. And that's about the Rider Flow webinar that just happened. It went on yesterday, but it's pre-recorded, so you can't ask the questions, but you can go watch it, and I definitely recommend you do. If you haven't tried out Rider Flow, it's very amazing. It came out last year at GDC. It was probably the most exciting thing, or at least the most usable thing out of everything that I saw at GDC, something that everybody could take advantage of and put into their projects. It looks like they've made some major advancements. One of the biggest problems with the initial version was the size. It was just large. It was a couple hundred megs. Now it looks like it's about three megabytes, and it's available in the package manager. It adds a whole bunch of extra capabilities to Unity built right into the editor and makes things just a little bit nicer and fancier, kind of makes it do a lot of the things that you would wish it would do. If you haven't tried it out, go check it out. I'll make sure to link that below. Hello. Next on my list is a little bit of shameless self-promotion. My boot camp is opening up next week and we'll be starting going through all of the game development stuff that I think you need to know to really build a game on your own from zero experience up to publishing something or at least being able to build something and publish it. It's up to you if you decide that you actually want to do that, but teaching you all of the skills that are needed to write the code, put the game together, deploy it, publish it, and share it with other people. Again, it's mostly about building the game, building the code, and doing it in clean, manageable ways. There's a whole bunch of info on the page, so I won't bore you with it, but we'll dive into all kinds of cool, fun, advanced topics. So go check it out if you're interested. Again, starting next week, so check it out quick. Now on to one of the most exciting things, or at least the thing that I think will apply to just about everybody. If you're a Unity developer, make sure that you pay attention to this one. I just learned this week that every week going forward, and I don't know how far back, the Unity Asset Store has been having a publisher sale where they put everything 50% off, and I kind of knew about that part, but I didn't know the secret part of they also give away a free asset every week now. This is something that I did a whole video about because I thought it was really cool. If you haven't checked that out, you can go check it out and hit the thumbs up button on it or whatever, or just hit thumbs up button now and let me know that this was a good enough way for you to find out about it. But all you have to do is go to the asset store, go to the publisher sale section. I'll link that down below and then choose the get your free gift option. Notice that on this one, you have to put in the code astrofish. I don't know if the code is always the publisher name or if it's something else. If you happen to know, drop a comment. I'm kind of curious, but you grab the, use that code, grab this medieval village and pull it in and it's very cool. Like I said, I did a whole video kind of showing what's in there and briefly talking about it. So I think this is exciting and it's only until February 9th because on, uh, I guess at 8 a.m. on the 9th, we'll have a new asset and I'm going to be really excited to see what that is. So I recommend you go grab this real quick. You've got um, very, very little time or there might be a new asset here by the time you watch this video. If so, so let me know what that asset is. Drop a comment and let me know if you got this one in time or if you just got the new one. 
And the last little thing I wanted to update you on is the Game Dev Show. This week's episode will be going live on Sunday, and I believe Tor from the Odin team is going to be here as well. So if you're kind of curious about Odin Inspector and Validator, you want to ask about that, have a chat about it, make sure that you come join us live. If you're subscribed, you should get the alert. Hit the alert button, and you'll definitely get it. And I'll see you there. All right, thanks again. Don't forget to, again, hit that like, subscribe, and alert, and we'll uh, keep doing these news videos. Bye.